y'all today i know my hair looks wild and crazy and yes i did go out in public like this it's okay <laughs> i'm going to be starting off by sectioning my hair so that i can form my knot make sure you clip the rest of your wild and crazy hair away so you have room to work i'm taking my dim and brush and detangling from the ends to the roots of course and then I am going to be using the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie to moisturize my hair. Don't use a lot of this if you are going to be wearing your hair down the next day because Bantu knots take forever to dry. So I am definitely, as you saw, starting on dry hair. I did blow dry my hair. After I have worked the product in and detangled it um, a little bit further, I am going to start by twisting my hair clockwise and while I'm twisting I'm going to be forming a knot at the base I'm going to continue twisting while I am rolling the hair on itself when you roll a bantu knot you want to stay as close to the base which is the scalp as possible okay so you want to continue and that is how the knot forms when I for my knot I will be taking the rubber band and securing it I turn it about two to three times so that it's secure again I'm going to detangle my hair well section of first of course detangle wrap roll counterclockwise or twist counterclockwise and then wrap onto itself and then secure with the rubber band okay same thing over and over again throughout my whole head that's what I'm going to be doing now some people like to use bobby pins but me it's hard for me to use bobby pins I think because my hair is too thick the knots never stay the bobby pins are still there at the base but my knots unravel so I like to use rubber bands a little bit better well a lot better actually now when I get to the side, I am going to be parting my hair because I know that I want a side part. So it'll be easier for me to take the knots down and not have to worry about parting or situating and positioning the hair because hair does hold memory. So however you knot this hair, when you take it down, that's how it's going to fall. So I parted my hair, put the product in, detangle and work the product through. And then I'm going to begin twisting my hair still counterclockwise, but I'm going to be leaning more towards the right side of my head because that is where I want my bang portion to lay. And now for the side, I kind of want that tuck behind the ear kind of look. So I'm just going to do one little knot on the side and I'm going to be putting the product on the edges as well because I want those to be laid. I'm going to be starting my knot towards the back, near the back of my ear so that when I take it down again, that is the way it will lay. Make sure that again, when you wrap, you are wrapping the knot on the base. You are forming the knot by wrapping super close to the scalp. That's how you get this really pretty defined curls when you take the knots out. Okay, I am finally on the last knot. And with this knot, I did start twisting a little bit too tight. And you will notice if you start if you start feeling a tug or something very uncomfortable, you definitely want to pull out this section or twist a little bit looser. Like I did, I, I pulled that out because I couldn't take it. Because this is what I'm going to be sleeping in and you want to be comfortable. You don't want to have knots forming where you twisted it too tight or you don't want to have bumps forming where you twisted it too tight, okay? So be gentle to your hair. I'm going to not go to sleep. I'm going to wash my face and then go to sleep. 
and wake up the next morning and be ready for work like so I'm going to begin by cutting off my rubber bands if you notice from the last band to knot tutorial I posted I always cut the rubber bands to make sure that I don't damage or break my hair and a little tip again is when you are cutting off your rubber bands do not close your scissors because you in the back you may not be able to see so if you close your scissors you may end up cutting your hair so if you just slide the scissors across the rubber band the rubber band will definitely cut Okay, now I am using some oil. I love this oil. I use this oil to straighten my hair too. And stay tuned because I will be having a video coming out on how I straighten my hair, updated version. So I'm rolling, I'm rubbing the oil on my scalp and on my hair. And I begin to twist, to detang, what am I talking about y'all? Just bear with me. <laughs> I am separating my curls. And y'all, don't these curls look so good before I started separating? It's so defined and pretty. So if you use that method, that's how your curls will turn out as well. Make sure you detangle. And also, I did start out on blow-dried hair. So that is one of the reasons why my hair is so shiny and it's a little bit more stretched than it would have been if I had just done my hair after shampooing. And also a little tip real quick, if you are about to bantu knot your hair and you just shampooed your hair, I would definitely advise to wait like, wait until your hair has air dried 50% at least because it takes forever for bantu knots to dry. I'm not kidding. It's going to take a minute, even if you sit under the dryer, definitely. So if you're going to do bantu knots right after you shampoo your hair, I say wait at least a day <laughs> or just have time where you know you can sit under the dryer for hours so anyway um i am pretty much done separating my bantu knots y'all know how to separate hair after that i like to go in the roots and use a comb um whatever you have you can use your fingers if you don't have a comb like that um a wide tooth comb to kind of hide the part a little bit from the knots and then at this point you just really plan with it to find out how you like it and as you can see part of my hair made it very handy <laughs> after I was done so this is pretty much the finished look I'm just gonna get it how I like it and then go on out this door so I won't be late Okay, y'all, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.